Since 1867, commissaries on American military installations around the world have sold groceries at reduced prices to financially assist members of the military and their families. Today, this 150-year-old benefit, the oldest retail activity on U.S. military installations, aids in the recruiting and retention of skilled military personnel. Supplying the Army with food during the American Revolution and the early 19th century was difficult. The rations lacked nutritional value, and transport difficulties made things worse. Often, no rations were available at all. Subsistence department storehouses kept goods for mess halls and field rations. In 1825, officers were permitted to purchase goods from those storehouses. Sixteen years later, they could shop for their spouses as well. The food items themselves were called commissaries back then. The word had not yet been applied to the buildings in which the goods were kept. These initial sales of commissaries were the direct predecessors of the modern commissary benefit. With a minute of history, I'm Pete Skirbunt, Defense Commissary Agency historian.